Oh, dang. This thing's flawless. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have this Ford Flex in, and this thing is absolutely destroyed. This is possibly one of the worst cars we've had on the channel to date. I know we keep saying that, but the cars keep getting worse and worse. So if you guys liked these transformations, make sure you like and subscribe because we have a ton of content coming soon. Also, we will be getting the customer's reaction at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So without further ado, let's jump right into this disaster detail. Before we show the before shots, we went ahead and pulled the seats out so you can see exactly how dirty this vehicle is. These seats are the nastiest seats that we've ever encountered. And for the carpet, you can see that it's absolutely littered with trash, debris, and food. We really have our work cut out for us on this one. We're going to start on this car by removing all the trash and picking up anything that's too big to be sucked up by the vacuum. Now we'll start the pre-vacuum process. I'm doing this a little different by using a drill brush. I'm using the drill brush just because it helps us save time by bringing all the deep embedded sand up to the surface that way it can get easily vacuumed up. As you can see here, the drill brush didn't quite work as good as I thought it was going to. So the carpet still has a bunch of embedded sand, so we're going to have to pull it out so we can pressure wash it later on in the video and get it completely clean and sand free.
When doing these disaster details, it's almost always a good idea to pull the carpet just because you don't know what's underneath it. And with our past run-ins with these kind of cars, there is always, always dirty, nasty stuff underneath the carpet. So here now we have the carpet pulled out and put in some better light. And you can see just how bad this carpet really is. Now we'll be moving on to some seat extraction. We're gonna be using the same process we always do. The only thing different is we're gonna be using a stiffer drill brush just because of how bad these seats are. So we're gonna spray everything down with some all-purpose degreaser, come back through with the green drill brush, make sure we give it a really, really good scrubbing, and then come back through with the extractor and extract all the way until the water is clear. And we're gonna repeat this process for the back of the seats, the front of the seats, all of the seats and the carpet later on. With these seats, the extraction process had to get repeated a good three or four times on each part of the seat just on camera. Off camera, we have a good three, four, probably five hours just in extracting these seats just to get them back to the original state that they were in before the car got to how it was. For these before and after pictures, these weren't the finished product. We still had to go back through and extract them more times. Those were just so you can see the process between when we started on the seats and where we're at now with the seats.
again, this is just the progress that we've made so far. That's not the finished product. You can see here that the seats are coming out pretty nice just with these few passes over them but that's not good enough for us here at MAD so we're going to go ahead and take it the extra step and we're going to keep extracting these seats until the water is all clear 
there's no more stains left and once we come back after they're dry and there are stains left guess what we're going to re-extract them again because we cannot have no stains in these seats they have to be perfect
For the carpet, we figured the most efficient way was to take them outside, spray them down with some all-purpose degreaser, hit them really good with the drill brush so it breaks up all the fibers and we can easily spray out all the sand, and then come back through later on after we hit them with the pressure washer and give them a nice good extraction to make sure they're all clean.
even though we scrub these carpets really good and we hit them with the pressure washer you always want to go back through and extract them because you can see here that there's still filth being sucked up through the extractor that was not able to come out with the pressure washer or the drill brush For the interior panels of this car, I'll be using the trusty method of a detail brush and some all-purpose cleaner. And then once I'm done cleaning and scrubbing everything with a detail brush, I'll come back through with the microfiber towel, mop everything dry, hit any runs that have ran out of cracks, anything like that, and make sure it's all touched up and nice and clean.
this is a prime example of what I was talking about earlier. Um, you never quite know what you're going to find underneath the carpet. So it's always just a good idea to go ahead and pull it, clean everything that was underneath it. Because in this case, we found a whole bunch of what looked like it used to be soda. And now it's turned into a sticky syrup. So we went ahead and sprayed it down with some all-purpose degreaser to go ahead and break down all the stickiness. And then we could easily wipe it up with a microfiber towel. And it just goes to show that you never know what is underneath your carpet. So you're better safe than sorry. And now as we finish this car up, we're going to go ahead and get everything dressed with some dressing that is also a UV protectant. Keeps your plastics looking nice and helps them not to fade as quickly. And I'm doing this with a, with a soft microfiber applicator pad. And it's very crucial that you do this before you do the window cleaner. That way when you, if you touch a window, you can easily go back and wipe it off when you do the windows later on, which we will be doing also. Oh, dang this thing's flawless is this the same car oh my god there's no way this is the same interior you had to have replaced it or something this thing was trashed YouTube this is Jeremy I'm here with my Ford Flex um, I had purchased it for my wife I bought it from a friend who had five kids lived on a farm the interior was completely trashed, had food in the seats, hay in the back seat, all over the floorboard. Um, I went to a few detail shops and they turned it down and said we can't do anything with it. My wife's birthday was coming up soon and I had gotten recommended to Mad Detailing 
and they were my last hope. So I came to them, and they did an amazing job on it.